Dear viewers, today in transportation in plant system, we will study transportation of minerals, source sink relationship of sucrose, and pressure flow or mass flow hypothesis. So this is part 5 of transportation in plant system. If you want to see video of part 1 to part 4, I have given link of that video in description box of this video. We know that plant can take carbon dioxide from atmosphere and water and mineral from soil. So water easily diffuses from soil to plant by passive diffusion. But it is not the factor with the mineral because mineral are charged particle so they cannot move across the cell membrane easily and second thing minerals are present in high concentration in root compared to soil so diffusion of minerals from soil to root requires some kind of energy and this energy is available in the form of atp so this type of absorption is called active absorption so this uptake of iron in the root cell generate water potential gradient because of this gradient uptake of water occur by the process of osmosis so some iron moves into epidermal cell passively so transportation of iron from soil to root occur by the process of passive and active transport mechanism so there are some specific protein present in membrane of root hair cell which actively pump iron from the soil into cytoplasm of epidermal cell and endodermal cell have many transport protein embedded in their plasma membrane so this transport protein act as a control point because from here there occur selective uptake of solute and now they will reach up to xylem. So the root endodermis also contain layer of sabrine which has ability to actively transport iron in one direction only. So now we will study translocation of mineral ions. So transpiration stream is the force which help movement of mineral ion from xylem to stem. And we know that growing region of plants required more minerals and these growing region are apical and lateral meristems, young leaves, developing flowers, fruits and seed and storage organ. So at this part of plant unloading occur by fine vein which ending through diffusion and active uptake by these cells. These cells means cells of this growing part. So whenever there occur damage in any part of plant, plant remobilize mineral iron to other part of plants. During leaf fall, minerals are removed from the leaf and uh, they reach to other part of the plant. So this is the translocation of mineral iron within the plant system. Some element easily mobilize in plant system and these elements are phosphorus, sulfur, nitrogen and potassium. But there are some elements which create structural component of plant and these elements are calcium which once deposit not remobilize. So xylem exudase also show that nitrogen travel in the form of inorganic iron but mostly it travel in the form of organic compounds such as amino acid and its related compound. Phosphorus and sulfur also travel in the form of organic compound and sometimes there occur exchange of minerals between xylem and phloem. Now we will study source sink relationship. Source is the part of plant where plant loads food and minerals and sink is the part of plant where plant deposit its food and mineral. So direction of movement of food and mineral happen through phloem. And this movement is both upward and downward direction depend upon the requirement. Okay, so this movement is called bidirectional movement. We know that in xylem movement is always unidirectional and that is in upward direction. So like flow of water in transpiration which happen through in one direction, food in phloem sap transport in any required direction. And phloem sap 
contain water and sucrose but other than sugar they contain hormone amino acid which also transported or translocated through fluid so now we will study source sink relationship in term of sucrose we know that sucrose is transported by vascular tissue of fluid and sucrose synthesized in the leaf part of the plants so this leaf part of the plant act as a source from here sucrose move to the other part of plant where there is requirement of food and also this food deposit in some part of the plant so this part of the plant act as a sink so the movement of sucrose from source to sink may be reversed depending upon the season just take a example of spring season when new buds open and these buds required energy for their growth and development so at this season stored food in the root move from root part to the growing part which is leaf or buds now we will study pressure flow or mass flow hypothesis the septic mechanism used for translocation of sugar from source to sink is called pressure flow hypothesis according to this hypothesis glucose is synthesized at the source part of the plant and this source part of the plant is leaf which synthesizes glucose by the process of photosynthesis and here glucose is converted to sucrose now this sucrose moves within the plant system so from leaf this sucrose move to companion cell and from companion cell it moves to phloem by the process active transport okay so now this sucrose is present in phloem cell which resulted in hypertonic condition and this create movement of water from xylem to phloem by osmosis this result osmotic pressure which build up phloem sap now this phloem sap will move to the area of lower pressure at the sink osmotic pressure must be reduced phloem sap will take food up to the cell where it is required at that cell phloem sap unloads its sugar component okay so this unloading of sugar from phloem sap to the cell happen through active transportation mechanism okay now sugar is removed from the phloem sap which resulted in decrease osmotic pressure okay so loss of solute produce high water potential in the phloem now the water will come out from the phloem and it return to the xylem so this is the whole pressure flow or mass flow hypothesis from source to sink so if you want to do experiment and check the movement of this process you can perform simple experiment which is called giddling okay in this process you make a cut on the bark and this cut is in the form of a ring and you make cut up to the depth of phloem layer okay now you will see that portion above the cut that bark portion becomes swollen after few week so this simple experiment shows that phloem is the tissue responsible for translocation of food and that transport take place in one direction and that is toward the roots so today we studied transportation of mineral source and sink relationship in term of sucrose and the pressure flow or mass flow hypothesis so here i finish that chapter which is on transportation in plant system thank you for watching the video